Welcome back to another episode of Important Miscellaneous Talks. 90% of you guys are not even subscribed, so please, if you're here, just hit the subscribe button. You're welcome. All right. Okay, and that's African Prince, guys. So my question here today is, what happened to 4X? I'm honestly, genuinely curious. I'm not here to hate. I'm just honestly curious. Where did the 4X heads go? All these spiritual 4X heads... I don't even see him post motivation no more. <laughs> I don't even see Grand Rising no more, bro. It's really quiet. I don't even see Grand Rising no more. It, it, during the middle of the pandemic, they all were posting every day motivation. They were in the gym. Yo, know, they were like, yo, I'm going to gym two a days. Like they were posting, <laughs> they was posting on that chart. Uh, whatever I don't know what the chart's called, but they were posting that too. They were getting people. They were having these conferences, these meetups, all that. Even the top, top Forex, the most Forex people of all time, I do not see them anymore. So my question is, where did the Forex heads go? You know where they went? I know what you're going to say. They went and got a real job? <laughs> yeah. Oh, a real job is OD. That's bad for you. A real, a real uh, nine to five? Not, not yeah, your so-called I, entrepreneurs. I actually read somewhere that like, um, like ninety-seven percent of them like don't even like make a profit. So just by the by the by the numbers alone, like you can't like it wasn't gonna happen for everybody. Like it it it, it, yeah. it simply wasn't. But my whole thing with the forex heads is that like they too many of them look down on you if you didn't join. That's what I'm like. They would have seemed like, yo, I was incompetent if I did <laughs> go join Forex. Like, I'm missing out on the bag. I'm missing out on millions because I'm too stupid <laughs> to not join Forex. <laughs> That's the point that was blowing minds, bro. There's others way other. I'm not a hater. You feel me? Go out there, get your money, do what you want to do. Get it how you get it. We all we all trying to make a dollar out here. But there's a lot of other side hustles out there. Maybe Forex just wasn't for me. And they'll all look at you like, man, man, you missing out, man, you missing out on the bag. Uh, uh, look at, it, look at on my it client. It wasn't for them either, apparently. So, yeah, it's honestly like I don't even see it once in a while. I don't even see it once in a while. Look at the charts. Look at X, Y, and Z. I don't even see it once in a while. And in the black community, they were talking about like this is like the holy grail. This is the promise that it's gonna lead us to millionaire hood, bro. It was a pyramid scheme. COVID has been around more than uh, Forex. So that's just, <laughs> like, bro, what? Bro, I, I don't, I, I really, I like, by numbers alone, like, y'all all can't be millionaires. And y'all yeah. all can't be making the money that you say y'all making. Bro, like, the, the shit is based on referrals, basically. Y'all are working for commission. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, the people I notice the people who really make money is are the people that uh are the people that recruit typically. Yeah, the niggas in Miami that uh <laughs> that host the meetings. Yeah, and one of my friends, one of my friends did it and he was like, yo, I don't really go to those meetings because all they really talks like like the like the motivational stuff. They don't really go over no plans, they don't really go over like no schemes to improve and they just they just get on the mic and just like talk a big game of why you should continue doing forex, but they don't show you oh. tangible ways to. You feel me, bro? These niggas thought they were they were et boy. You could have, <laughs> bro. Like niggas linked up in Miami and had a very good time and just to keep y'all encouraged, <laughs> you know. But they they kept y'all unemployed instead. So majority of you forex workers, um. Are not working. <laughs> you're not. You're no longer an entrepreneur. So, yeah, like, no longer. <laughs> <laughs> because no, I was sick and tired of, you know, especially on dating apps. Do you want to make money? Oh, do you know what forex is? Like, ma'am, I didn't swipe right for this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, or like, you know, oh, now nah, you don't think big. You don't dream big. I'm a future millionaire, and I'm all for it. Black success, legacy, but it's like, you know, they was forcing it down people's throats. Like, if if it's it's, it's either forex or die, basically, nah. you know. But forex is dead. So, what are you talking about? 
Um, the, the chakras must be out of order. No, yeah. The the grand rising was out of order. The grand sunset was out of order as well. So the third eye is blind. It's really, it's really quiet. I don't, I don't see nothing rising no. here. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> only descendants. <laughs> the only thing they're rising for is for when they get up for their nine to five. Which, that's what he swore you was never gonna do. Yo, that's kind of crazy, bro. And the thing is, we're like, I remember even the fake scam forex pages don't even hit my DMs no more, bro. I yo, I used to get like a fake forex scam, like probably at least three times a week, at least three times a week. None of it, bro. I get mm-hmm. zero a week now. Even mm-hmm. the scams gave up on Forex, bro. <laughs> That's how you know. It yeah. feels it feels nice, honestly. I, I I was so tired of seeing the Grand Rising. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I hate I hate seeing Grand Rising. I absolutely and that, Grand Rising. And that pyramid emoji and how would you like to do this? How would you or you know I made I made thirteen I made enough to for breakfast this morning. I'm not taking a shot at anybody specifically, but it's just something that I see a lot. Hey man, I still love you, but you know, it seems breakfast is covered every day with forex. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I don't know about now though. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, for real, they, it's it's odd to go from bragging every day to <laughs> nothing. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's odd, <laughs> bro. It's odd. How you go from bragging every day to we can't even hear people. I can't even find y'all no more. And I, I hate when people look down the nine to five. Like the nine to five is not cool. Like we don't need nine to fives for society to thrive. And in the black community, so often we have like this mindset of, like, of abundance, and we feel like if we can't get abundance, then we failed. No. And, it's, and it's like, and so many people in the black community look down on nine to fives and stuff like that, where it's like, bro, like your parents didn't work the nine to five, your parents' parents worked the nine to five, and y'all did I right. like y'all didn't do anything, but y'all had y'all had your necessities. You feel me? It's okay to want better, but you know, it's not it's not so easy to go from you know doing I right in in one generation <laughs> to the next to, to millionaire status. And just because you can't necessarily go there, people make it seem like, yo, it's either you don't, you want to be a millionaire or a failure. Like, there's a large gap in between, bro. <laughs> and I think it, it does it's, not. Yeah. Go ahead. In, go ahead. in the black community, we we idolize like this abundance sort of luxury mindset, bro. It's like if mm-hmm. I can't go first class to Paris, then I'm a failure. It's like, no, bro, you <laughs> you're doing okay too. At 21, still cool. <laughs> Facts at 21. At 21, bro, 19 year olds talking about, I'm gonna, yo, bro, what? Like, <laughs> bro, it's it's middle class America. It's uh, these small businesses that, you know, make America what it is, you know, essential. So it's like everybody can't be an entrepreneur, everybody can't be a millionaire. I'm, I'm sure that's what you want and that's what you strive for, of course, if you put in the work, but. It can't be everybody in the black community. This is not Egypt. You know, you're not as rural as you think you are. Everybody plays a part in society. So. And um, no, 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 I'm sorry. Okay. No, it, that wasn't a sub. No, 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 because, you know, people like to go back and think, you know, back in ancient Egypt, we was living like gods dressed in gold. And, oh, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Royalty. Uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> there were black peasants back then too. <laughs> yes, everybody was. It was like it was just like we we all lived lavish. No, I'm pretty sure those people still in the slums, like some of you. So mm. you know, it's just barbaric and absurd. <laughs> this is it like it's like Dave. <laughs> nah, well, I just get sick and tired of the fuckery, bro. Ah, uh, for real. When it comes to forex, when it comes to you know, our ancestors, leave them where they are, all right? Leave them where they are. <laughs> oh, my Bro. goodness. Nah, I, I don't... Go ahead. All, the, all that comes back to the spirituality. A lot of these spiritual people, what was their job? 
I, I can tell you. Was it not Forex? Uh, well, a lot of them. It, it, yo, Forex gave me too much cult vibes, though. <laughs> Way yeah. too much cult vibes. Like, no. everybody that joined Forex, everybody that joined Forex, like, wanted, like, to be spiritual. It was freaking weird. Like, all of them, all of them is like, all right, I'm about this life, I'm about this. Uh, yo, it's getting spooky out here, man. It's cool. No. To, it's cool to do a nine to five, especially if you plan on doing it temporarily. It's all right. 50K, 60K is still cool, believe it or not. And the people still who clown, average people who clown you for it and people who um a lot of forex they never seen 60k in their life so <laughs> bro, trust me like you you're doing all right I, I really like bro what like you look at down on the plumber oh i can never do that like bro what the world needs plumbers someone a master a master plumber at that a plumber and plumbers make decent money plumbers the electricians pl construction make decent money listen a lot of these people that you look down on is put is looking down on a lot of you people that live with your parents. How dare you? Oh, bro, really? I don't want to sound like a. I'm not a hater. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a, I don't want to sound like a hater, bro. But it's like, bro, like I can't imagine being in a mindset where I'm like, oh, I can never do a nine to five. I'm doing forex and going back to my parents' crib. Like it doesn't. <laughs> you, you're, you, like it's not adding up. The brag is not adding up. The brag that, that's happens. like uh being dripped in designer by hopping on the asking hopping on the bus talking about back door or the train. How does that make sense? Oh. What are you flexing? Oh. You're flexing the subway, the E on Sutton? That is, that's strange. So it's like, what are you flexing if uh you have to be in by curfew? <laughs> that's very strange. I th don't I don't think, flex anything for it. I think in the black community, we just truly like underestimate that like doing okay is also okay. Like I'm not saying that you should just be content with being mediocre, but doing all right. I don't want no mediocre. I don't want no mediocre. <laughs> which is fine. I get it. <laughs> but like the vast majority are middle class. So you can't just immediately be like, okay, like looking down on those people. You feel Thanks. me? It's it's okay to be I. Right. It's okay to work right. up there. It's okay to That's be right. in your mid-20s and you know, figuring things out. But then I'll never do remember, I'm not gonna mention no name. A girl dead said, bro, I could never date a guy making 50k. Oh my god. She, she was she making 50k? No, no. Is no. she making 50k now? Not to my knowledge. I highly doubt it. That 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 joint that blew my mind. And she's younger than us too. So she's not getting money like that. <laughs> Cause how many people is really getting money like that in their 20s? Just in, you know it's a you know, it's really till you hit your 30s, mm -hmm. honestly. Like millionaires in their 20s is really not that common. Yes, sports and and music, but even that, you know, it's still a statistic. But um, it's not common. I am not a crook. But yeah, like, and it's, um, you can't even hear me. And it's also like, bro, <laughs> people make it seem like if you can't live in a abundance lifestyle or if you don't want to live in a abundance lifestyle, then you're simply not doing enough. And and the odds are, the odds are if you do, um, like if you take a hundred million people and a and hundred million of them. Sir, sir. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm recording.